एवरी वन वेलकम टू चैप्टर वन पैटर्न एंड मैथमेटिक्स फॉर ग्रेड सिक्स इंट्रोडक्शन टू पैटर्न एंड शेप्स यू मैन बी गेटिंग ए क्वेश्चन वॉट आर सम बेसिक पैटर्न सम इम्पॉर्टेंट एंड बेसिक पैटर्न दैट अक्कर इन मैथमेटिक्स और पैटर्न ऑफ शेप्स दीज शेप्स मे बी वन टू और थ्री डायमेंशंस और इवन मोर डायमेंशंस For example, triangle, quadrilateral, pentagon, hexagon, heptagon, octagon, nonagon, decagon are regular polygons. These are the next are complete graphs, which we are represented with the K three, K four, K five, K six. The branch of mathematics that studies patterns and shapes is called geometry. Shape sequences are one important type of shape pattern that mathematicians study. This table shows a few key shape sequences that are studied in mathematics. Let us see. Those shapes are stacked squares. Stacked squares are a group of squares. Here, the second picture we do have four squares: square one, square two, square three, square four. The set. Third one we do have nine. Similarly. Fourth one we do have sixteen. Fifth one we we do have twenty six. Similarly, stacked triangles also same as a square and subject one, but the shape is in the form of triangle. But the number of triangles is equal to this here four, here nine. Similarly, sixteen and twenty five. And the next one is a quartz snowflake. See, this is this table three, which we need to keep it in mind. For solving this exercise problem, the first one is regular polygons. Regular polygons involve triangle, quadrilateral, pentagon, hexagon, heptagon, octagon, nonagon, decagon, and the complete graphs are having this lines and the joining this vertices of this each polygon. Similarly, stacked squares are group of squares. Stacked triangles are group of triangles. Quartz snowflake is this in the form of the sides, which will be having the each side is into this four, can subdivide into four lines: one, two, three, four. Exercise one point five. Question number: Can you recognize the pattern in each of the sequence in table three? Table three first one is regular polygons. The shapes are triangle, quadrilateral, pentagon. Hexagon, heptagon, octagon, nonagon, decagon. Hence, it is a continuous sequence starting from three. You might be getting a doubt, right? Why is starting from three? Why can't it be one? Here, a polygon means is a closed figure which always starts with this with the minimum three sides should be there. With the only two sides, we can't complete the figure, so it will not be closed one. So, to complete the closed one, minimum three sides are necessary. So The first closed polygon is triangle. That's why it's so starting from three. Complete graphs. Complete graphs are the which will be joining this two lines of this one plus a closed polygon. We are joining the vertices. For example, for this first closed polygon is a triangle as it does not have any two vertices, so it has three sides. Next one is this quadrilateral. For the quadrilateral, we will be having the four vertices. Joining this two, we are going to get this total number of lines as a six. Similarly, for pentagon, five sides plus five middle lines, which are the joining the vertices. So five plus five, ten. It's six. Similarly, we are going to get this for hexagon as a number fifteen. So these are the complete graphs. If we observe for the K two, we do have this one because by joining the two points, then K three for the triangle. Three sides. Next, for quadrilateral, we do have the six lines. For example, if we are drawing this quadrilateral like this, and again in between the joining the vertices, total we are getting the six sides. Similarly, for pentagon, we will get the ten lines. Next, for hexagon, we will be going to get fifteen. So the series formed here is in the form of triangular series. Why we are calling this as a triangular series means we can arrange one as a like this. First one K two. Next K three we can arrange in this form of a triangle. So, similarly, for the K four, the value is six. Six we can arrange 
like this. If we observe this is in the form of triangle shape, that's why we are calling it as a triangular series. Next is stacked square. Stacked square is a group of squares. For example, 1 square is 1, 2 square is 4, 3 square is 9, 4 square is 16, 5 square is 25. The series formed is 1, 4, 9, 16, 25. Thus, it is a square number sequence. Next one is stacked triangles. Stacked triangles are group of triangles. This is similar to stacked squares. But this figure is in the form of triangle. That's why we are calling it as a stacked triangle. If we observe for this second one, we do have the four small triangles. One, two, three, four. So, we are considering this 4 as is 2 square. Similarly, for the third one, we do have 3 square. Fourth one, 4 square. Fifth one, 5 square. So, this is a stacked triangle. So, the series formed is 1, 4, 9, 16, 25. Thus, it is also a square number sequence. Let us see coach snowflake. To understand the coach snowflake, we have to keep it in mind the pattern of this here each side is for example tri triangle is having the one say equilateral triangle we are again subdividing into this four lines so one two three four so the next sequence we will get is this three multiplied by four here similarly like this so the next one if we want to divide again this one into the coach snowflake we have to divide this one the history behind this one is as shown this one. The coach snowflake is a fractal curve also known as the, the coach island which was first described by Helge von Koch in 1904. It is built by starting with an equilateral triangle, removing the inner third side of each side, building another equilateral triangle at the location where the side was removed and then repeating the process indefinitely. This led, led to a kind of the pattern which we are calling in the mathematics as a coach snowflake. Let us see question number 2 of exercise 1.5. First, second question, try and redraw each sequence in table 3. Hope you might have recalled this table 3 in your notebook. Can you draw the next shape in each sequence? Why I, why not? After each sequence, describe in your own words what is the rule or pattern for forming the shapes in the sequence. See, in this table 3, we have seen 3 decagon, which is having 10 sided. After 10, what is the next number is 11. So, the next regular polygon is a polygon of 11 side. The name of this 11 side we call 10 decagon. A polygon with 11 edges and 11 angles. Next one is complete graphs. We have seen till 15 the series, is it, which is in the form of the triangular series. 1. Next one will be representing in the form of a triangle with this one. Next one is in the triangle. Similarly, after 15, the next number we have to add is 6. So, upon adding 6 to the 15, we are getting 21 lines as shown in the figure. If we observe, this will be having 21 lines in this figure, which is a, an example of complete graph. Let The third one is stacked squares. Total number of squares is 6 into 6, 36. Next one is stacked triangles. Total number of triangles is equal to 6 into 6, 36. Let us see question number 2 in this one. Coach snowflake, total number of sides. Previously we were ending with this 768. So the next one will be 768 multiplied by 4. Hope you might have recalled. Each time coach snowflake, we have to multiply the previous number by 4. For example, if we will be having the normal triangle, the next one will be having 3 into 4, 12 sides. Similarly, like this, we got the 768. So, the next coach snowflake is 768 into 4, which is having 372 sides as shown in the figure. Thank you.